absolutely knackeroonied. Uh, it was so great talking at the Eden Project last night, but our uh, sleeper train was not very sleepy. <laughs> I'm now here at Heathrow Terminal 5, ready to meet the Copperfield crew, G, Candice, Pete, and all of the amazing trekkers have to figure out where we're meeting. Somewhere in here. I can see them all in their fabulous t-shirts, the whole gang. It was a bit nerve-wracking, joining a group of like a hundred people. We don't really know many people, but this always works out brilliantly. We're all here, well, nearly all, waiting for one person in this group. There's 71 of us going out today. And then tomorrow there'll be another 50 or so, I think, coming and flying out. Uh, tomorrow we get a tour around Marrakesh. Well, the second group flies out. We all stay together the next night in the hotel. And then we head into the desert together, eight hours drive down through the Atlas to begin our trek the day after that. So today um, I thought I'd see Candice and say hi and gee, but they're arriving tomorrow. So uh, today I'm just gonna make great mates with all of these brilliant people. And I'm very much looking forward to that. Bit tired, but buoyed up by everyone's excitement and energy. Got my charity challenge top on, not gonna lie. Absolutely hate high neck. This is a bit like, <coughs> but I'm repping it. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out Out of the airport, heading to the hotel. It's warm, but now it's the evening. It's that tiny, tiny little bit of bite in the air, but it's still really warm. It's nice, it's a lovely temperature. Mountains in the background, busy, busy. Good smells, good bird noises. <sighs> Quite keen for a dip in a cold pool at the hotel and a really good night's sleep. It's what we all need. Everybody's very excited. Right, getting into this little transport bus now, 16 of us. Hey, right on, <laughs> right on. We're having the most amazing tour of Marrakesh today with Kareem. We've seen a beautiful mosque. And now we're in a Jewish, um, we went to the Jewish quarter, and now we're in a Jewish palace, which was repurposed by the French and then given back in the 50s. Uh, there's amazing exhibitions, the gardens are incredible, the mosaics, the paintwork. It's just absolutely stunning. I've got a bit of a thing about the doors. So many incredible looking doors. <laughs> I slept well last night. Sometimes that makes you look even tired. It's just all so beautifully done. And if you can hear the bird song too, the temperature is incredible. It's all so peaceful. They're having pap shots of Beth. She's doing a great job. Yeah. Here we go. This is paparazzi session. Yeah. <laughs> this is Kareem. <laughs> Lizzie, where are we now? Oh, we're in the soup. We're in the soup. We have just had a delicious lunch, haven't we? We certainly have. And where are we going now? I think we're going back to the hotel. Yeah, for swimming and relaxing by the pool. <laughs> It's nearly 5.30 a.m. and this is a busload of tired people. <laughs> tired but excited. Tired but excited. Starting the... How many hours are we in the bus for? Ten. 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 I'm going with eight. Ten. 
10 hours of Darude Sandstorm on repeat. <laughs> Now we've been dropped here by the coach for our first wild wee. Everyone is uh, enjoying finding their first wild wee spot. It's kind of beautiful. Strange terrain, but gorgeous. Why is it quite cold up here? It's a cold uh, Tishka Pass and it is uh, going to be, I mean, uh, soon 2260, which is the highest uh, point or elevation altitude you are going to pass through. Really? Yes. And then we go down in the valley from here? Yes, and then uh, down to, to the desert, to the Sahara Desert. Is it all like this all the way? Yes, in turns, of course. All the turns. Yeah. Yeah, longer, bigger, bigger. bigger. Mm -mm. I don't think so. I think that's perfect. I think that's perfect. It looks so great. Inshallah, <laughs> Inshallah. I think this must be our last pee stop because we've been going for about eight hours and I think we're about 45 minutes away. Some of the other buses are quite far behind us, I think. Journey's been pretty good so far, no troubles. Nobody's sick on our bus. Is that your pee bag? Because it's been a hell of a journey, I always think that this is the easy bit. You might correct me at the end of this. <laughs> because you've had to sign up for this, you've had to raise the funds to come on it, and you've had to come right out of your comfort zone. Transparent tents, you can resist heat and water. Yeah, now the turns have tabled, haven't they? The tons have tabled. <laughs> You've obviously had a really hard day. Oh, the crumbles of cookie. <laughs> it is incredible. Sun going down. How beautiful is that? <laughs> it's early and everyone is out of their tent. We're trying to get out of their tent because they're picking them down straight away, uh, taking them to the next camp, 26k away. But in our tent, Polly's still not out of it and they're taking it down. So here they go, taking it down. See, it's all like bending at the edges. And inside, Polly is still trying to back up. I know! <laughs> Oh, Polly, that's priceless. Yeah, go, 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 take it down, brilliant. Hello. <laughs> morning music. <laughs> this is what we are woken up to in the morning. Everybody's bags, all ready to be taken to the next camp. People filling up with coffee while they take the tents down. The stars are still pretty bright. <laughs> Amazing. Good <laughs> morning, how are you? Mm -hmm. This is seconds. 
Seven seconds. Yeah, yeah double porridge, man. Hey, welcome to Morocco. Pleasure to receive you in this beautiful country. Camels are one of the most beautiful, interesting animals in Sahara Desert. They can stay without water and food for more than one week, resistant heat, walk in a storm, and they are one of the amazing. Give us milk. You can make from them a lot, like tents and big other beautiful ways. Uh, <laughs> So it's so important. The nomads are people who travel, as we have two types in our beautiful country. The first one are called nomad, second one semi-nomad. The full nomad one, they travel for a whole year, and the semi-nomad, they will travel for one half, and the second half will be for agriculture and stay in one place. That's You're a very all. wise man. Cheers, be welcome. Be welcome, okay. Yeah, Marhaba. Marhaba. <laughs> this is Ibrahim. Yeah, Marhaba means welcome. Okay. I'm from Hay Atlas. Uh, from Hay Atlas. And what can you see from your house? You told me. Yeah, yeah we can see the highest point of North Africa, Tukal Mountain, which is 4,167 meters. Yes. So one of the group has been feeling really unwell. Uh, she's tried super hard. Um, I've walked a few times around the outside of the camp with her. I came back from the group to make sure she was going to be okay and see if we could get her feeling better. And then we take a four by four back out to the first team, but she's still not feeling very good. So she's in the four by four in front and they're going to go ahead. And I am being taken back to the first hiking group where I started today to join them again. And um, yeah, I'll show you them ahead as we go through the desert. There's no judgment, of course. We're all just doing our best to do as much walking as we can in terrain that's unfamiliar to 99% of us. And I'm looking forward to getting back out there. But I think the midday sun is gonna be really tough. I don't really love hiking in unforgiving heat, but uh, it's gonna be a heck of an experience, that's for sure. I have to say it's extremely cool being driven around the desert in a four by four. <laughs> extremely cool. So a couple of people had sunstroke, got a bit sick, and I brought them in the 4x4 back to camp, but camp's still being erected by the dunes. I'll take you to see the dunes in a minute. I'm gonna find my bag. They make showers with buckets of water inside with privacy that you can fill up from tubs of water outside. The carpets are on the sand with the tables. and the camp is slowly coming together. You can see them there, building. Hot, so dry. Morning with my ratty hair. Another twenty six K, this time across these sand dunes. Mm. Well, I did sleep, but I do look tired. Cool. Morning warm up routine right, with Dr. Amica. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five. Feeling deeply stretched and relaxed. Oh, yes. Come on in. The no, team do feels it, like they've had a day at the spa. <laughs> I look like a beekeeper. <laughs> you do. <laughs> a really stylish desert disco beekeeper. I was like, every time he stepped, I was like, don't vomit, don't vomit. When were you feeling pukey? Oh, yeah. Ugh. At first, right up until we got to the stop. Taking longer, yeah. I think we might have taken a shortcut. Ooh. It's hot and dry 
and quiet. We're in the shade. I just did the monster. The big, the big peak. Yeah. Nice I one. Had to. Of course you did. You got the minerals, didn't you? Steel. <laughs> Made a bloody steel. Yeah, but you're powering through. Like Come a legend. <laughs> Didn't you do the big one? I wouldn't have done it. Come on, Doctor, give us some of your magic. Look at that, look at that hand span. What a wingspan, mate. Love it. So we've been walking all morning and we are team Dr. Emeka and here he comes up. Absolutely grinding out the sand. <laughs> Getting it. It's been an amazing morning across uh, the plain most of the time and then more dunes which we've been on now. We can see lunch across the plains and people have been such good sports, worked so hard, it's been beating heat and the team's been excellent. What a lovely bunch of people. I kind of want to hike with them every day. <laughs> what scenes man, we're so lucky. <laughs> okay, more plane and then we get to camp in the evening. Hi, we've had a few people finding the end part of this day pretty hard. It's been a long day in the heat. The sand dunes were beautiful, but they've been in this last part of the day. We've been on flat plain like this and we've been able to see the camp for three and a half hours and we're still an hour and a half away from it. So it's a bit demotivating for many people to be able to be walking towards something and see it for so long, but not seem to get any closer. A lot of people have had bad blisters. Somebody felt very faint. Someone's very tired and can't go on. Probably about 23K in and made the wise decision after some kind of good thinking and resting that they need to go back to the camp in the support vehicle. It takes a lot of courage to do that and to not be adamant about carrying on when you're not well. But we know that a lovely meal will await us at camp. We're looking forward to bed, food and bed. Looking forward to food and bed. It's been a long day on our feet. I love the desert in the morning and I love it in the late afternoon and the evening and the night. I massively love it in the middle of the day but it's unraveling its beauty slowly. What's this? Oh, it's darker blue. Okay. This is tonight's camp. We tired. Long day. Nice camp. Hairs like straw. Matter do it. Lots of people hurting today. Everyone was so brave and cool. Look at that sky. She's a beauty. Today I have the pleasure of being on Team Kelsey. And the best team. It I is mean, clearly the best not, team. Woo! <laughs> this woman is an absolute legend and she's made the most incredible team spirit. Yes. yes. So I get to sing and dance and tell jokes with this lot all day. And this is pure positive energy, this team. I can Woo! feel it. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Some dusty plains we're on. This is a nice day. It's a pretty cool start. It's not as hot feeling as yesterday, but it's bright. These guys, I love these camels. They're our pals. Today I'm with Kelsey's group. As you know, absolutely amazing team. Super positive. 16k to lunch today and then only 6k afterwards to camp. I wonder if it's going to be flat like this all day. I think we might have some elevation over there in the afternoon. I'm literally having a pee this close to everyone because there is nowhere to have a pee. No one will look. The other group's coming behind me. They might be able to see my butt butt. <laughs> my butt butt. My butt butt. And that's all right. I must be drinking a lot, which is good because I definitely am peeing a lot. TMI.
top of the elevation with the gang. Everyone's done so super well. Perfect, motivated, positive crew. Here they all are. Yes, Team Kelsey is rocking. It's going to get even more narrow. This reminds me of my gymnastics days when I was doing the beam. Oh, yeah. When we were climbing yesterday, I like, cut my pull then. Do a big forward roll. <laughs> it's me. It's Kate. Hi. It's the rest of the gang back there. Now we've escalated to walking along sand dune ridges. Oh, my God, they're going to do a Mexican wave. Yeah, and then up there, the rest of them. It's quite the drop. Mexican wave it. Go! My body's also telling me no. <laughs> Tough day today. Very hot. Oh, got a boob being carried there. Nice one. Yes. Everyone's very hot. We've been walking across quite difficult rock. You can see the shale behind where we've come. <laughs> and there's been no breeze in that middle section in the valley so a lot of people are not feeling tip top but soldiering on someone just had a good chanda um, okay guys we're gonna have a photograph up here where, telling us what's um, happening Jenny. next so if you can make your way over to where jen is we'll have a picture and then we can head towards lunch then there's lunch The celebrations that's the last team to come in pete wicks's team 100 kilometers of desert trekking has been done this is our party tent for tonight here in the desert and there they are having a well-deserved bloody good hug and medal session Another incredible copper field trek with G. Pretty much in the bag. Six kilometers to walk tomorrow to where we get the vehicles to go to Wazawat. I think that's how you say it. We've already done enough miles. Kilometers for it to be 100K. They are bonus kilometers. Here in the middle of the camp, you can see that we've got four fire pits that have been laid out for us tonight amongst all the carpets where we're gonna sit after dinner and probably sing and chant and watch local music and enjoy our last night under the desert stars with maybe some well-earned beers tomorrow when we get to the little town we're staying at in our last night but here tonight in the desert we are just here to celebrate each other and mostly these incredible men and women who have raised nearly six hundred thousand pounds from coming to do this trek it's blown my mind. Such a privilege to be here.
This is the last day and we've just left camp behind us. You can see silhouetted and off we go for a 6K hike toward the local village where our mini buses will be waiting. I am bringing up the rear today with Team Emika, some amazing friends I've made, really superb people and what an experience it has been. I started this week not knowing if I was really going to enjoy the desert environment on that first long day in the heat with no shade, open plains, wondering when or how the desert was going to feel beautiful to me and very quickly it revealed just how wonderful it is. They've been incredible hosts, the people that we've been with, um, the people who Charity Challenge partner with. The local community have welcomed us hugely in last night's dancing and celebrating alcohol free was phenomenal. Tonight we're all going to be in a hotel so I'm sure there'll be a few beers. Two of my favourite things I think about the desert are the mornings and the afternoon evenings where it's cool and the light is coming in from the sides rather than from high above. Um, the shadows are incredible. The midday, not for me, particularly hiking through the midday sun but I also love the silence and I also love the stars at night go from every corner and edge of the sky to the other edge of the sky and the Milky Way was so bright last night it was absolutely incredible oh and camels I've loved camels but most of all I've loved the bravery the camaraderie the compassion of all of these incredible people Women and men who've come, raised so much money, hiked so hard and pushed way past their limits for Copperfield, for their friends, for their families, for people they've lost and to help early detection of breast cancer. The incredible work that Copperfield does. So I'm so privileged to be here again and I'll check in with you probably from the minibus or the side of a pool pretty soon. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right With you and I the future is bright to the, the hotel. Everyone's gone to get changed, have a shower. Our bus came in last, so that's all we've had time to do. No pool action, but I'm washed. I'm in the dinosaur jumpsuit. after the day before no the day after the night before and <laughs> try not to get Polly in the shot <laughs> poor Polly so we are making our way back to the airport Polly very diligently took a motion sickness tablet which she'd never taken before and it made her unwell which apparently someone else said happens to them so she's been a trooper and then <laughs> the rest of the gang is doing great. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Tired, spent, happy, lots of money raised, lots of brave women and men. Nicholas is the brave man. There he is. <laughs> and um, it was a very early start, so we're feeling a little bit raggedy, but still beautiful scenery. And soon a long way at the airport and home. And then train strikes and general rain. So <laughs> make the most of this. Yeah. 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 